can you hear my prayer tonight? Miraculous Ladybug Fandom Fiction The Lion King Alternate Universe Marinette is eating croissants as cat sees her near a waterfall. He goes into commerce cat style. Marinette takes out a pen from her purse with a flashlight and red laser light. Aim it around the grass. The grass light lights up in the view of Cat Noir's view. He smacks his lips quickly, staring at the distraction. His main focus on the food that Marinette is eating as crumbs fall. He pounces Marinette accidentally, the pen falling out of her hand while trembling him down the hill holding on tight. <gasps> she screams as she gets hurt a little with scratches and bruises. You stupid cat! Look what you did! She scolds him. As they both fall into the water, with her tripping over her own feet and the belt tail, she bobs her head up only to be met with her being rescued by Cat Noir. With his hair soaked and not spiked anymore, she stares at him with astonishment. After staring longer than usual, she noticed she appears to look hotter than usual to her. His appearance reminded her of Adrian Ogrest. Marinette is taken back as that sweet stare of Adrian props her mind of the day they hid by the bodyguard inside the fountain being cleaned that day. While Cat Noir holds onto her with that attentive smile and his body warming her a love flush flashes across her cheeks. Embarrassed, she slides out his arms sliding or stroking to the end of the waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. The Kwamis are amused by the pair starting to sing a song. Then when something like this. I can see what's happening. What? And you don't have a clue. Who? They fall in love. And here's the bottom line. Our team's down to two. Oh. The sweet caress of twilight. There's magic everywhere. And with all this romantic atmosphere, disasters in the air. Marinette gets out shivering and starts to ring. Cat Noir has an umbrella over her, then laughs, seeing her eyes dilate, almost taking it. <laughs> then Cat throws it to the side. Goodness sakes, Marinette. It's summer for crying out loud. Cat leans into, like Adrian did, to hear to her at the lockers. After watching her face a little, he dips his fingers into the water beside him. Splash, splash. Splashing her with his fingers flicking on her flushed red face. She speaks softly in her ear as he presses his full lips on her lobe. God, what are you doing? You need to cool down a little. You're getting too hot from you. Kenwar proceeds to tease her by holding her head and laying on his chest to hear his soft sounds. His heart racing some while hers is out of control. Without warning, he starts to omit a loud sound erupting from his ribcage and throat. Her face flushed again as she pulls away slightly to question him. Is that a... Uh... Cat starts to sing with one leg crossed over his lap. He smiles a sheepish grin, pressing her head against his ribcage. Can you hear my purr tonight? Oh God, soothing as the evening breeze. Our world for once in perfect harmony. In all bird songs. Adrian sighs from underneath the mask of what he needs to say to Marinette. So many things to tell her, but how to make her see the truth about my father? Impossible. She turned away from me. Marinette sings to herself. He's holding back, he's hiding. But what I can't decide Why won't he be the cat I know he is The cat 
I see inside? Canwar finds a vine and grabs Marinette, splashing again in the water. Do a double barrel roll! No! Marinette screams. He holds on to her in the water, laughing hysterically. <laughs> Marinette shoots him with a water gun. Take that bad cat! Canwar stares at her as the water stream lines him. Oh, you want to fight dirty, huh? He looks around for a pile of mud. Marinette gives, I take it back, I take it back. He tracks her down as she runs in the dark. Cat Noir smiles. You do realize cats see great in the dark. You forgot about night vision? Marinette speaks loudly. You have to find me first. Then she says something that sparked Cat Noir's interest even more. You can't be good as Adrian is with lockers. He is a ninja. Cat's eyes dart back and forth. I already spotted you. Merritt flinches with the pun. No! He's bluffing. She reminds herself. He has to be. Be. He has to be fluffing. Without warning, she feels mud placed all in her hair by crafty cat's gloves. You were saying? A sly smile posted on his face. Pasted on his face. Then he wipes her flushed cheeks that were once again red. I won't kiss you, but you're all dirty now. <laughs> And then Master Fu chimes in. Can you feel the love tonight? You needn't look too far. Stealing through the night's nice uncertainties. Love is where they are. Mary goes to the waterfall stream to rinse off the mud. Cat smiles with something behind his back. Um, Cat? What do you have behind your back? Hmm? Cat Noir thinks. Maybe a rose? Really? <laughs> she giggles. I was thinking you were about... She stops herself. A cat pulls out a mega blaster water gun. Don't even think it. He's the cat, positions the gun upwards and starts shooting the mud off at her. <laughs> this is what summers are for. When he stops, he sees that Marinette is soaked with hair undone, but wet. Against the moonlight, she never seemed so beautiful to him. What was happening to him? Was this the side ladybug never allowed him to see? He dropped the gun, strolling over to her soaked body. Soaking body. Ah, he hugged her tightly, his purr emitting from him. He cupped her face gently. Nino and Aya search, sit, speculated from the bush, inspect, yeah, speculating from the bushes with Master Fu. Nino says, and if they fall in love tonight, Aya chimes in, it can be assumed. Nino, their carefree days with a sore history. And sure, our fame is doomed. Marinette waits for his face to near hers, blood rushing through both their ears. He leans in for the kill. The spectators watch with interest. OMG, they're going to kiss! His ears twitch as he hears the beats from his ring. <laughs> Can't realize he has a run out of time. Well, princess, he breaks from her embrace and splashes her with water. <laughs> I thought you need to cool it. He laughs here in the, the bushes, figuring that someone was watching them. Looking at Marinette, he picks her up, holding her body like a whip. The couple swiftly sways his arm into a salute, then races off with her in the dark. See ya. The light poles light up this night as they approach her house. Although this, that was a lot of fun, looks at her teasing her as he places her face up to his to kiss him. He releases, lace, he releases her face, seeing the eagerness. Nah, it's way too soon. What is? Marin asks. He glances her with her fangirl eyes, the kind of eyes that Adrian feels flattering, just not worthy of a kiss from him. He shakes his head. Mm -mm. You think I want a good night kiss? <laughs> you think I want a good night kiss? His mouth in a pout. 
Well, I. Marius lost the words. Caleb directed her, this time in the kindest tone he can give her. The answer is no. My heart isn't won so easily. He smiles back after perching himself up on the railing. Not even a goodbye or see us? Nothing? She shouts. He vanishes into the night like the clouds in the midnight sky. Count Orly's Marinette, who is now planning, pinning for him in complete shock with flustered cheeks and she starts to ramble on. Tiki! What just happened, Tiki? <laughs> Tiki slightly giggles. You were just turned out by the cat you never want. <laughs>